Hey, what's up everyone, Nick here. Wanted to make this video for you today uh, talking about if you could do your overage deals tax-free, would that be beneficial? And why would that be beneficial to know? Now, let me be clear too. What this, what I'm referring to does not just apply to overage deals, okay? It can apply to any business or side income Anything that you're doing that brings them, it brings income into your household, if you're not reliant on that income, you can make it tax-free, okay? That's significant, and I'm going to explain why that's significant here in a minute. But first, let's answer the following question, okay? Going back to overages, let's say you do a deal, and you, if you make $5,000 on your overage deal, how much are you actually making? What's the answer? Is it 5,000? You'd think it would be 5,000, right? But how much are you actually putting into your pocket? Okay. Here's the answer. In the best case scenario, if you make $5,000 from an overage deal, you're going to keep $4,117.50 in your pocket. That's after taxes, okay? In the best case scenario. Now, what is the best case scenario? I've defined it as this. If you are in the lowest federal income tax bracket, which I believe currently is at 10%, let's just look and see, okay? Like if you Google it, you can find it, but if you go to Google, Google federal income tax brackets 2024, here's what you've got. So the lowest is 10%. So if you make less than $23,200 a year, uh, you pay 10% in federal income tax, okay? Which is kind of crazy to me, but whatever. Now, if you have the average salary, which I believe the average salary in the US is around 60 grand right now, you know, at least according to the US Bureau of Labor, in Q4 of 2023, it was $59,384. For, for simplicity, let's call it 60,000. So if you make 60,000, then you're you're in this bracket right here on the second row. And you're probably paying about 12% in federal taxes, income taxes, okay? So if you make 5,000 and in your you're in the lowest tax bracket, 10% of 5,000 is 500, right? So you're going to pay $500 in federal income taxes. Then you're going to pay your FICA tax, which is 6.2% for social security and 1.45% for Medicare, okay? Total is 7.65%. So best case scenario, if you're in the lowest income tax bracket and you work for your money, if you're employed, okay, when you combine federal income with FICA, you're paying about 17% in total taxes. And this doesn't take into account if you have to pay a state income tax. Okay, Some of you don't have that. Some of us do. I am one of those that does have a state income tax. It sucks, but it is what it is. So best case scenario is you live in a state that doesn't charge state income tax and you are in the lowest tax bracket. Which you're going to keep $4,117.50 if you do an overage deal where you profit 5,000 bucks. After taxes, you only get about four. Kind of a bummer, but it is what it is, right? But if you didn't have to pay legally, if you legally did not have to pay this $500 or this $382, would that help you? And would that be beneficial to you? This is just my opinion, but I think I think you can spend your money better than the government can. You may not agree with me on that, and that's okay. That's just my opinion, okay? But at the end of the day, you know, I mean, if you only do one deal, okay, cool. Then it's, you know, $882 is that you're going to give to the government to do your overage deal. If you only do one deal, you know, then this information that, I, that I'll be sharing with, with you in the class tomorrow is worth $882.
if you do one deal. But consider if what happens if you do multiple overage deals over the course of several years, how much are you going to end up giving away to the government in taxes? Or maybe you've done several deals like myself. I've done hundreds of deals at this point outside of a tax-free environment and paid six figures in taxes that because I didn't know this information, if I had known this, I may not have had to pay that six figures in taxes that I've paid over the course of my overage career. So learning how to do deals tax-free is more of a long-term play. Like if you're just looking at today and only worried about one deal, then it may not be super important for you. But if this is something that you want to do long-term or even if you don't do overages, guys, please understand that what I'm teaching does not just apply to overages. It can apply to anything you do outside of your w W-2 job, okay? If you wholesale real estate, if you flip homes, fix and flip, um, if you invest in <laughs> cryptocurrency, like if you do anything outside of whatever you do to create money outside of your job or your main business, any extra income, any side hustle can be generated tax-free if you know how to do it. And over the course of time, the savings that that creates and the, that's a big deal. Okay. I don't know about you, but it's a big deal for me. It may not be for you. And, and there may be some of you that are like, what are you talking about? I love paying taxes. If you love paying taxes, God bless you. You are a saint. I am not a saint. I don't like paying taxes. Um, makes me very angry to write that check. Maybe you can relate to that. If you don't relate to that, it's probably wouldn't, you probably don't care about this. Or if you get your paycheck and you see that social security, Medicare deduction, federal income deduction on your paycheck, and that doesn't bother you at all, then, then don't worry about this. But if you are interested in learning how to do overage deals in a tax-free environment, then I just want to invite you to my masterclass tomorrow, June 7th, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, which is noon Eastern, okay? I'll be teaching how to do this. You can go sign up at this link. But um, at the end of the day, you decide if this is or is not important to you learning how to do deals in a tax-free environment, not just overage deals, but other types of deals as well. Uh, if you can't make it live, don't worry. I will offer the replays at a later time. They'll just be a little more expensive, okay? And uh -oh. um, yeah, the price is 500 bucks, guys. Okay, so it's uh, there is a cost. It's not a free class, but um, I think I think it's worth paying 500 bucks to learn how to do deals where you don't have to pay taxes on those deals. You know, that can uh, that can account for thousands of dollars in savings over the course of your lifetime. But that's just my opinion. So that's all I have to share with you guys. I wanted to share that with you and uh, hope you found some value in it. And if you do decide to join the masterclass, I'll see you tomorrow. And I appreciate you watching. We'll talk to you all later.